Good morning. Won't come to the conversation on your digital first from African News Network, TOS Television. Reaching you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. And my name is Adesua Osui. Now, what we're going to be looking at uh, on the conversation this morning is, is quite controversial. One issue, you know, that is gradually, you know, graduating into serious controversy is who will succeed President Muhammad Buhari in, you know, 2023. And in line with that aspiration, there seems to be a growing conversation that is that has gathered a lot of dust uh, about who should fly the, the flag for the Southwest between um, Ashul Ajibola Ahmed Tinubu and then the Vice President of Nigeria, that's Professor Yemi Oshibajo, who many years tagged Ashul Ajibola's political godson. And so we're going to be looking at that today, 2023 presidency, the Ashibajo and Tinubu controversy. And to join me in having that conversation here in the studio is Wally Bakari, a uh, political analyst. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you once again. Okay. So before we actually get into, you know, the controversy that is uh, Bola Tinubu and um, Yemi Oshibajo. I I'll just quickly want to get your view on, on, on this. So Osh Oshibajo has like um, one of the most intimidating credentials anyone can actually represent anywhere in the world. And then his work ethics, composure, aura has kind of endeared him to many Nigerians as to somebody who is worthy of that position of, of leading Nigeria come 2023. So why should somebody of that caliber have to, um, you know, be bound or possibly guilt stripped into loyalty or submission to the disinterest of the country, basically. Yes, thank you. So um, you've said it all. Osebaju is eminently qualified yeah. and um, he's done this for, you know, um, the last seven years. And then we've seen instances where he's had to like act on capacity on behalf of the president yeah. when, he's, when he was away. <coughs> he's done, you know, quite a lot of things that um, it beholds to say that this guy is um, is, is ready for mm. this position mm. and um, he can pull his weight. So the off trading, the, the guilt tripping, the name calling, I think that basically emanates um, from is uh, um, from overzealous fans. Okay. Right. So there are people who aren't sent to do that. But because of their personal, you know, you know, you know how politics is, <laughs> you you love someone from a distance, you know, you wish this for them and that for them. And um, you try to lord your view over other people's and when 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 in the political season now. So mm. it's only normal to hear and see things like this, you know, where people are fixated on their candidate and rather than marketing their candidate, they're looking at the the, the the strength and weakness of the other candidates the other one, too. Yeah. So it's not um, unexpected, you know, that we're having all of this play out at this hour, but um, I'm sure that at the end of the day, uh, things will fall in line again. Okay, now let's get into the controversy uh, about both parties. I, I do know that Ashiwaja has not formally declared that he's running for presidency, but it's, it's, it, there's no gain saying it. Everybody knows that he's, he's vying for that position. But the other day, um, Yemi Oshibenzo declared that he was interested in running for the position. And, and then I, I don't think he sat well with, with um, Balat Sinubu. And there have been people who said, look, that is disloyalty. This, uh, um, Ashiwaja was very, very uh, um, instrumental in, in probably getting Oshibaju to be Nigeria's vice president, instrumental in making him attorney general of Lagos State for about eight years. So he, he shouldn't do that to him. That, that's what most people are saying. What's your take on that? I think unless you were there mm. when um, all of this was brokered yeah. and someone decides to say, okay, um, based on so X, Y, Z, I want you to do this and that for me. If we're not privy to that, then I, 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 I wouldn't call it a case of a betrayal. Oh. Like I said earlier, he has his right to contest. Mm. Likewise, um, Asiwaju too. Remember that Asiwaju, um, is, is a, this is a lifelong ambition for yeah. him. He's always wanted yeah. it, right? And he's thrown his attitude into the ring. He's qualified, he's experienced, you know, he has what it takes to, you know, unite all the factions and his, his network is rich. Yeah. You understand? So when you place um, the, the VP's um, um, CV on one side and then you place um, Buari's, um, um, sorry, Asiwaju's experience yeah. on the other side, I don't think there's any conflict, mm. you know? Rather, I think it's a plus for Lagos states, okay, even though the VP now has taken his polling unit back to the oh, state, it, but yeah. I think it's a win-win for Southwest. And I don't think there should be any cause for Australia. And you will realize that none of these candidates have actually come out to say, oh, this guy has betrayed me. Like what I said, it's still the, basically it's more of the support group, the think tank group, 
coming to say, oh, this and that, you know, to, to inundate us with a lot of um, news of what um, happened behind the scene. Mm. You know, as long as we're not privy to the arrangement that brought the VP in or, or you know, otherwise, then we can't boldly say that this is a case of betrayal. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I was going to ask you, um, um, you, you did say it's not a case of betrayal. So do you think it's just politics playing out or um, maybe the vice president has been a, a pawn in, in the hands of people who actually don't want to see Ashwa Joe emerge? Or has he just been really ambitious? And is there anything wrong, you know, in having such an ambition at this time? Absolutely nothing wrong in having an ambition. You're a vice president, you're just one step away from the presidency. Yeah. So, of course, you would take your chances. And um, I believe that, um, you know, there's been rumor about the Osibaju's declaration before mm. it eventually happened. So, yeah. I'm sure there were a lot of consultations yeah. that went underground. Mm. And who are some of those people that he will consult with? Are probably Asiwaju's men, mm. people that they've worked together over the years. So, I see this play out, it could be a strategy, as mm. many have said. It could just be a case of, you know, going to the ring, you know, I'll also declare, I'll do my thing. Then at the end of the day, let's see the direction the party is going. So I think that the kind of relationship that Asiwaju and Osibaju have enjoyed over the years, right? It's, it's something that is really worth, worth, um, 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 worth looking at. And do you think at this point, any of these men will want to jettison that? for an overzealous supporter mm. or a group calling him to, so I think it's beyond that. You know, we only react based on what we see or read in the media. So you, you think all of the controversy, all of the dust is unnecessary, there's nothing to it? I don't think, uh, but like I said, you can't, you, can't, you can't avoid it. This is the period, this is the season. There's going to be a lot of firework, you know, a lot of firecracker. People, people won't be silent on this. You would want to project your candidate as the best for the job. But in, however, in doing that, you overstep the bounds, you know. So when you overstep the bound, that's where we have this contentious issue and controversial issues that we always have to, you know, be a part of the polity, unfortunately. Okay. So, so just putting you on the spot, do you think that, do you envisage or do you see maybe a stepping down before, before uh, the primaries? Do you see maybe Ashiba just stepping down and just allowing, you know, Sinibu go ahead with, with, with the... the yeah, ambition? so one thing um, I think is going well for um, the APC, like I said the last time, is that they, well, they, they had the ability to have put their house in order. Mm. I did mention the last time I was here that... Um, that consensus arrangement, in as much as it didn't go down well with so many people, it has helped put the party on the right pedestal, right? So I see a similar pattern in this case, in this scenario, right? So if the party have the, the mechanism to say, you know, um, you are our member, you're eminently qualified for this position, but this is the direction we want to go. So I know they have the channels to reach out to these candidates and um, their elders in the party, their chieftains in the party that will broker this piece. And at the end of the day, everybody will be, why, everybody's mouth will be wide open and be like, what happened? Mm. You know? So I believe that it will happen okay. with time. Okay, yeah. so who's your preferred candidate? Uh, I won't. I won't say my. <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't. say my preferred candidate on air. It's, it's, I was well, but I have my candidate. I was hoping you'd no say doubt. that. No doubt, I have my candidate. But of course, it's not um, something I. So you're I'm not going to even air. give me like that that information. Uh, you you may have a clue, but of course, the only clue I give you is that my candidates have, have declared. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So I know if he's not your candidate. That's that's. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's actually okay. Nice guess. Nice guess. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for coming on the show You're this morning. Welcome. It's such a My pleasure. pleasure to have you. Thank you. thank you. And thank you for staying with me on the conversation up until this time. Make sure you get your PVC, you know, ahead of 2023 so that you can actually, you know, vote for your preferred candidate and then just sit at home and just keep raising dust about who should have been there and who shouldn't be there. Thank you again for joining me. Don't forget to join the conversation across our social media platforms. It's TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the channel to subscribe to on YouTube is TOS TV Network. Share my website, www.tostvnetwork.com for news, stories and happenings from across the world. My name is Adesu Thank you and please join me again tomorrow.